On July 21st, Apple, ticker AAPL, was scheduled to report their second quarter earnings. Users could have obtained this information by using Briefing's Earnings Result page, as well as view Thompson Consensus Estimates for the upcoming release. By clicking on the plus icon to the left of the company's name, users can research the company's prior earnings releases, see how the company's results compared to Thompson Earnings and Revenue Estimates, view any guidance the company issued, as well as view recent Wall Street analyst upgrades and downgrades on the company. Prior to Apple's release on July 21st, our Live In Play page featured a full earnings preview detailing expectations from a technical and fundamental perspective, as well as a technical commentary noting that the exchange traded fund QQQQ had moved to highs of the day in anticipation of Apple's results. When Apple released at 4.30 Eastern, multiple live headlines appeared on Live In Play reporting the company's EPS, revenues, iPod shipments, company guidance, and other key metrics, noting in real time how Apple's results compared to street expectations. After Apple's release, our Live In Play page featured a full summary of the company's earnings release, as well as multiple technical comments on after-hours trading activity in Apple, noting that the stock's price was up because of a positive reaction to the earnings release and guidance. When the Apple earnings conference call began, a briefing analyst was listening in, posting multiple summaries of Apple executive comments on the company's results. Prior to the market open on July 22nd, Briefing in Play featured post-release commentary and analysis on Apple from equity analysts at FBR Capital, Deutsche Bank, Kaufman Brothers, and Credit Suisse. Technical commentary was posted noting Apple trading activity at 642, 801, 828, 910, 938, 1030, 201, and 3 o'clock. A live in-play headline noting that Apple was upgraded at Canaccord Adams appeared at 8.55. In our earnings preview for technology company SanDisk, it was noted that Apple's strong results could boost SanDisk results because of key patents that SanDisk holds. All that analysis on one earnings release. It's why you won't find better earnings coverage anywhere than on briefing.com.